How's it going everyone? Brew United here on a Saturday with the video that I promised, which was Road Rash. Mid-90s were all about flannel, Doc Martens, grunge music, and playing this game with friends. I actually really have a ton of nostalgia playing in the mid-90s with lots of games. Road Rash was one of them. Eating Doritos, drinking Mountain Dew, playing Road Rash, listening to Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Nirvana, all of the all of the bands from that time period. So let's dive into Road Rash. I hope you enjoy. Welcome back to another Saturday video, everyone with Brewery United Saturday videos. So this one today is going to be Road Rash. I really wish that I could play the intro to this. It keeps giving me all kinds of alerts when I try to upload it about the music. So it's Chris Cornell. It is Soundgarden. It is the typical type of music that you would find from the early 90s. Grunge was a thing. And unfortunately, Chris Cornell isn't with us anymore. But this game is, and that song still gives me so much nostalgia for that time. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold the phone here. We're going to pause on this. In the real world, if you run from the police, you'll go to jail. Someone actually has to put that. <laughs> uh, this is where we started. Uh, this is where we, we started going wrong as a society. All right, enough of that. Let's dive into the game. So you got thrash mode, which is more arcade. You got big game mode, which is what I was talking about on the Wednesday video. Big game mode is all about kind of a RPG element. You can upgrade your bike. You can get all kinds of weapons. And I think if you get the weapons, you can actually keep them between rounds. I think if you pick one up, but I could be wrong. But there's a pile of characters here, pre-made. You get to pick one. Really goofy, over-exaggerated features, as you can see here. Just, you know, just a goofy game, but fun nonetheless. I think uh, out of everyone, no, definitely not him. Let's let's go with Teflon Mike. I like Teflon. Teflon seems to be a great idea for someone doing street racing. So you have Der Panzer Club and Ollie's Scooterama. So that's where you can buy a bike. We have 500 bucks. We do not have enough money to buy anything. In fact... Even to get kind of the most basic bike, I think you got to have to get a few races down. So we don't have that. We're going to have to do that a little bit later. Let's we'll take a peek here at the rat bike. So yeah, the Bonsai, nearly 4,500. You got that one, three grand, 3,500, 5,500 basically. Nah, can't do any of that. So no point in buying a bike. Might just need to dive in, get into the race. So we need to go over to the De Panza Club and we will check out what is possible. So I think what we have to do is actually just register for the first race. So we'll go in there. I think it's the bulletin board there. Yep, bulletin board. And then once we're in the bulletin board, we are into the race. And you have six options here. So you can pick basically, or actually five. The other's going back to the menu. So we're in the race. Let's see how we do. Uh, I'm not going to play the typical play till we die because I know this is my first race in quite a few decades so it would basically be a very quick video maybe a five minute video maybe a 10 minute video who knows anyway too short to actually show you a little bit more about the game so easiest thing to do is hit the x button on this playstation controller just get my uh my c legs here on what can actually punch and kick thankfully the trigger buttons are the ones who do that because if you're holding x and you're actually using the controller that is a really easy way to uh, to use that. So, all right. So far, we're not doing too bad. So, coming at me a little fast, but getting used to it. So, there we go. All right, hold on. Avocados from Mexico. <laughs> uh, forgot you completely wipe out. Then you have to run back and get your bike. You know, the good news about getting hit on this side is actually the car stopped there. If you're on the other side, all the bikes basically come running past you and run right over you. So, see that person right there? I could have hit them, and it would have taken them out for a little bit longer. I don't think it actually kills them, unless their health bar goes all the way down. 
So one thing to know about this game is it's actually just a one-player game. You know, there's no split screen. This was the age of split screen on tiny little TVs where you and your friend basically would sit there and squint at the screen. You know, it was the N64 didn't come out too long after this, kind of a year or two. And I remember playing Goldeneye where it was almost four player, little tiny screens and you, you all knew where each other was hiding. So it's not like Fortnite or PUBG or any of these games today where you actually have no idea where anyone is. You knew where the other person was hiding and then you had to go there. And then someone with odd job, you know, which is the, or the golden gun at the time could just one shot you. So totally different time period. But back to the game. So we're racing. Ah, I didn't actually go flying off there. And I am in fifth, fourth place. I'm actually not doing bad at all. This, so this is the first time back on the bike since I actually have played this in decades, as I mentioned. And I'm hearing police somewhere. So that is maybe somewhere off in the distance here. So as I mentioned in the, the Wednesday video, I believe the police... I don't know if they can pull you over, but I think if you have trouble here, then they basically can uh, can arrest you. Like, like that. Wow. That's foreshadowing, isn't it? Okay, so we're going in an arrest scene. Wow, they actually had cinematics for this. I forgot about that. I thought it just went to kind of a split screen. Wow. <laughs> this is so... I would say late 80s. You know, the, the chips bite. Oh, man, I didn't know that. Wow. All right, that was a bit rough. I didn't know that happened. Okay. Surprise a minute. All right, so I'm busted. I think you get fined, and I think you can get back in the race. So hopefully, when we get out of this, we will have a much better video uh, than we did just. Because that basically showed what not to do, didn't it? All right, 400. So I have 100 bucks now. Look at the over-exaggerated images. Okay, so let's go back into the Panzer Club. And we will uh, do the bulletin. Let's change it up here a little bit. How about Napa Valley? I think that would be better. The views are better. We can pull over and get some wine. Who knows? Let's change it up a little bit. So this game did come out in 91, I believe, on some older cartridge systems. So the cinematic cutscenes were definitely added. The game was made just a slight bit smoother. And let's tee up... Uh, another attempt here. All right, second verse, same as the first. Let's hope we do a little bit better this time. Getting on the bike again. All right, Napa Valley. Actually, I like the way it looks already. It looks a little bit better. And we are off. Okay, that is not a smart place to stand. Can you believe that? Somebody stand in the middle of the road, especially during a bike race. I think if you hit people, you do go flying off your bike, or sometimes you can just ramp over them. All right, we're already getting in a bit of a kerfuffle here. Nice. Got through that. Ooh. I don't know how that happened. How did I not get knocked off? Ah, you know what? Because my name is Teflon Mike. That's right. Can slide right through. Maybe not. I don't Actually, I think that has absolutely nothing to do with it, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. All right, so we're in seventh place so far. Not doing too bad. And somehow making it through. I remember actually driving uh, on a similar area when the last time I was in kind of the greater San... Ooh, got that person. Greater San Francisco uh, area. You know, kind of the the golden state and seeing these hills looking a bit more uh, golden was actually one of my recent trips there. So I have not been on a trip there since... When was it? About February 28th to be exact, 2020. This was right around the time where we all started finding about this pandemic and I remember being on the airplane and the person it was the weirdest thing because I fly a lot historically the person is actually Lysol wiping down everything in front of us and it was the first feeling that I had that you know things were going to change you get the the news and you hear you heard a little bit about it you know I think there was a case in the U.S. back in January but anyway Let's quit talking about the pandemic. Let's get back to the game, because look who is in first place. That's right. So all I got to do is hold on to this. So we're 2.8 miles or kilometers. I don't know what it's marking it in. 2.9. We need to get to about 5. So we are actually doing remarkably well, considering uh, I had just played that first race, and now we're actually in the second race, and we're absolutely dogging it here. Look at this. Wow. 
All right, well, at this point, it's just kind of boring racing. Look at this. Just have to make sure I stay in the right lane. And, oh, let's go around that way. Yeah, that would that wouldn't have been good. Going head on into a car. We saw what that happened. And get the avocados from Mexico thing again. This graphic setup really, really doesn't look that dated. I mean, it doesn't look amazing. No. Does it look like one of the... The most photorealistic, is it like a Gran Turismo type? Whoa, what is that guy doing there? Who is standing in the middle of the road of Napa? You know, just there, two people. I think they just throw people in just so you can basically uh, have a little bit of additional difficulty here. Okay, so we are quickly coming up on the, the five mile or kilometer mark. And at that point, we have a race in the bag. So I guess my top speed's 107. I can't seem to break that. Which isn't too bad. I mean, if you can do 107 on a bike. Ah, look at that. That's right. Who's number one? This guy. That's who's number one. Great. All right, so we actually had a complete wipeout. We got busted by the cops in the last one. Now we're getting a complete hero's welcome. We are in first place. We won. What is going on here? This is... <laughs> what are they doing? I don't even know. Anyway, so we won first place. Uh, let's see how much we actually got for that, because depending on what we got, we could actually buy a new bike. But I'm thinking we may not actually get that much. Okay, so Teflon Mike, that's us. Okay, we've figured out we're a winner now. All right, so we got $1,000. So, yeah, as I thought earlier in the video, you have to do roughly a couple of races to do that. So I'm going to pause the video here. We're going to stop it. Just want to give you a taste of what Road Rash is and what it's not. You know, it's just a fun racing game with goofy fighting mechanics and a little bit of RPG upgrading of your bike. So, Road Rash, what do you think? One of those games that I can't get enough of sometimes. Just a simple hop on a bike, kick and punch, it's all in the mind. Parappa the Rapper reference. Maybe we should do a video on that soon. What do you think? Anyway, hope you enjoyed. And if you did, like, pop a comment in, because that's one of the more important things, is building this kind of banter back and forth with other YouTubers and I. And also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Take care, everyone.